더쇼 초이스의 주인공은 오네노프 소감 들어볼게요. 네, 일단. Hi, um, fees. I used to film videos like this very frequently, but I honestly think I haven't done it in like over a year since I moved. I'm like pretty sure. And I don't really have anything else to film right now. I have made a lot of changes to my collection. I downsized some, and I also changed how I'm collecting a few groups. But I don't have anything like in its final state yet. I want to reorganize a little bit and, you know, finish the ideas I have for my collection before I make a full video on it. I also think I'm going to make a another photo card collection tour. I know I did one not that long ago, but I kind of want to do one before I start getting cards in for this on and off and Lou Sumble come back. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, that's not what we're doing today. <laughs> today, I'm going to be shopping for some photo cards. There is a couple things I'm missing from my collection that when I was going through, I was like, oh, I really just want to find these. And yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I did get started. I saw this listing earlier and I need this Juyon card. I'm pretty sure this listing is only for one card though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this listing is only for one card, which would be ideal because I don't really want Four. Where do I want to start? I did decide to downsize my EXO collection to just say Yeah, so let, I, let's actually look for that. I don't know his name in, in Japanese though. Uh, Sehun. Got it. Okay, work. The only cards I'm missing are the What a Life, like, iPhone mirror selfie card. I don't know, but I'm missing that one. And I'm also missing the What A Life Kino. No, yes, no, no. The One Billion Views Kino where he's like looking down at the ground. Yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> I think EXO was the only group that I downsized. I also dropped my Pentagon collection. Saw we... I still have all the cards for EXO and Pentagon. I haven't, like, gotten rid of any of them yet. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's Baekhyun. Yeah, that's Baekhyun. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to downsize. I don't know. I've really been kind of feeling it. For now, at least, I just want to focus on my groups that are active. I might pick up those collections in the future if i want to finish them but for now i think i'm just kind of chilling as is and even though exo is like one of my top all groups for life um i'm good with just collecting one member especially because honestly expanding ah uh? is that how expensive this card is this card that's just sitting on my desk because i can't decide if i want to keep it or not what that is way too expensive that is way too expensive oh my god <laughs> um what was i saying i think i was saying i just want to collect one member of most groups that aren't like my favorite top groups of all time currently just because my favorite top groups of all time are active right now or at least two of them are work since i Oh my god, that is not a bad price for three Kino cards. I can't justify this though. Do you think I could find someone that wants these two? Oh, that's kind of devastating. Anyways, um, I hope we've all tuned into the on and off comeback. It's so fucking good. It's so good. It's so good. It's exactly what I wanted. Even if you're like not loving the title track, Go listen to all the B-sets. Go listen to Slave to the Rhythm and then come back to me and tell me that's not the best song you've ever heard in your life. That is so cute. Who is this? Is this Sehun? <gasps> the way that looks exactly like him, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll keep that tab open too. <laughs> I, yeah, cannot recommend the on and off comeback enough. Go listen to Slave to the Rhythm. And then let me know what you think, because they're absolutely the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Is this also- is that- is this BB? It is! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave those tabs open. I'm kind of obsessed with 10 centimeter dolls. I went from having one of Ning Ning 
to a full set of on and off ones, an extra one for Tanyun and Minkyun, Juyan, Jacob, and Eric. My family has expanded. Like, very, very rapidly, my family has expanded. And I just love them. I think they're so cute. Like, they're my favorite K-pop fan-made item. I'm assuming these are fan-made. Even though now, companies are doing, like, official ones. Did Stray Kids start that with, like, the little plushies? Let me know. I don't want to attribute something to the wrong company, if that's not true. But, okay, I'm going to try and narrow this down. Let's try XO... SC? Should I just search XOSC though? Mm, like, that's just the one I need. How much is that? It would have been cheaper this way. We'll see. I'll leave both tabs open. I'll leave both tabs open. It would absolutely devour to finish 1 billion views. But that last What a Life card is very challenging to find. It's just like a mirror selfie too. It's not even the best one from the set. The best one from the set is like the one where he's in the Nike hat. You know what I'm talking about? Like that is the best card from the set. Well, okay. I found some options. That's, that's good for XO. I think, I, let me pull up my updated what I collect. This is my updated who I collect. That looks so good. Has anyone played the game Nosha? Does anyone know what this is referring to? I feel like I bring up the most obscure shit in these videos. Um, this is my favorite video game of all time. I was modeling it after this. It's like a... It's a visual novel, but it's like social deduction. It's like One Night Ultimate Werewolf or like Mafia if it was with um, aliens on a spaceship. And they're all so fucking cute. Like, look at these guys. They're all so cute. My favorite character is Sha Ming. Even though he's like definitely a problematic phase. I also love Chipe. Maybe you can see him somewhere. Obviously I'm obsessed with him. He's like trying to become a cat. That's like his whole thing. And yeah, I love this game. Everyone should play the game Nosha. But I modeled my collection screen after the like voting or my collection highlight from the voting screen. So this is like a little overview of who we got work for the luna one i do still plan on collecting lucemble ot5 because my main collection is still just yovi so i'm just gonna leave it as that it's like not a big deal who cares susus are back uh-huh yeah susus are back my other favorite collection collection my other favorite character is setsu so setsu and chipe got the you know the top honors but i love setsu they're so dope they're so cool this game is so good. Like, if if you like visual novels, you have to play this game. But who else should we look for? Uh, let's see if there's any Sua cards that pop up. <laughs> I uh, cried. When I found out Susus were back, I saw it on Elisa's story. And I was like, no fucking way. And... Like, we are just so back. We are just so back. <laughs> I'm not missing that much for sua honestly i've really done some damage on this collection in the last i don't know i've been collecting her for like a year and a half now oh my god the other day i went out to get food and i have this pin on like my wallet yeah i have this pin on my wallet and i was like check paying with my card and the cashier was like is that you i was flabbergasted i was like no but crazy that you think so because <laughs> like that's the most beautiful girl in the world oh wait i need this card <gasps> is that a bad price for this i feel like i could find it cheaper no i literally need that card though that's awesome okay a win already what eras are priority um i do i really want to find her snowy night card the pob where she has the reindeer ears and like her hair is long. I really want that card. But I it's kind of expensive. I also really want these cards, but like no. Um if there was a weird cut just now, my internet just cut out for like an hour. But we're back. I don't remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about these cards. Wait, where'd they go? I think I was talking about these cards being expensive and then my internet died, so I'm not gonna talk shit. I do need this card, 
but I would like to buy it in a set. Oh, freebies. Oh, freebies. Yeah, I'm missing four cards from the Japanese debut, but there's ten total, so if I only get nine, I'm, like, not mad at that. That would fit with my layout really well, and then I could just have, like, a full nine pocket page, but I don't even know what era I'm, like, looking for the most for Sua. Honestly, any and all. Any and all eras. I was also considering collecting Suyon for their Japanese cards, but those definitely seem like an impossible challenge to try and find now. And I'm fine with just Sua. I don't need to go too crazy. I really want this card too, but not for, what even would that be in USD? Yeah, not for $20. Mm, I do need this card. What? Is that a bad price? Uh, that's actually not the end of the world. I think this is an MD card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the sticker? I'm pretty sure this is the sticker card. I really want the tattoo card. I want the tattoo card so bad. I'll leave that one open. I do want more Unoia cards in general. <gasps> this is another one I need. And I love this one because of the blush. Look at the blush. I think her makeup in this card is so beautiful. If I'm going to get any of these cards I've just pulled up, it's going to be this one. Because, like, yeah, I need that card. But, okay, definitely found a lot of Sua stuff I need today. It's kind of hit and miss finding stuff for her, honestly. I feel like sometimes I find, like, a million cards, and sometimes I find, like, zero. I also love this unit, but that's really expensive. I love this unit. I love the Ginga Mangayo units. I have a Susu's one. Yeah, I actually think I just have a Susu's one. But it's, like, one of my favorite cards ever. It's so adorable. Let's move on. On, I want to look at Yetan. I think I accidentally double bought some Yetan cards because I forgot I had Rising Star 2 on the way. And I definitely bought those. But let's check. I hope this keyboard ASMR isn't too bad. I think the first time, or one of the first times I filmed one of these videos, I was talking about learning Japanese. And now I've been in uh, Japanese class weekly for a whole year or almost a full year i'm like two weeks away from being a full year but i haven't been in school in a very long time so getting this far or like making this kind of progress in like studying and like holding myself accountable to studying um that has made me feel really good about myself and my japanese is still really really bad but i think i'm much better at understanding than i was previously like being able to listen and like comprehend what's going on that is the skill i would like like to improve the most oh uh hello yeah that's the skill i would like to improve obviously i would like to speak but if you didn't know i have a speech impediment i have a stutter it kind of fluctuates obviously in like video editing i'm able to like make myself sound better and not stutter and you know you probably wouldn't be able to tell that I have a stutter if you, like, listen or watch some of my videos, but I do, and it flares up a lot when... Let's look at... Lusumbo. We'll just scroll through this. Um, my stutter definitely flares up when I am nervous or anxious, or I just, like, notice it a lot more when I'm nervous and anxious, obviously, because it's something I'm, like, insecure about. Having a stutter is <laughs> not very cute. Obviously, it's something I'm a little anxious about. So, I'm not very good at speaking. I don't really know if I'll ever be good at speaking because I just stutter really, really bad. But I practice every week speaking and it's improving slowly. So, yeah, I'm trying to learn Japanese. <laughs> All that is to say that it makes online shopping on Mercari Japan very easy because I can read a lot of stuff. Um, is this the full set? It is! Wait, I kind of want this set. I have Yovis, but I've contemplated buying the other three because I do love this set. Oh, Miles just walked up on my desk. Hi, baby. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I definitely don't need to be buying random miscellaneous Lucembo sets. 
considering I they are about to have a comeback in like tomorrow as I'm filming this. By the time you see this, I'm sure the Loose Simple comeback will be out actually, but I it's not out where I am. I need this card. I actually need this card. Yeah. I need that card. I have the VV. Nope. I have the Yojin. And I've been looking for that VV. And that's not a bad price. That's not a bad price. We'll consider it. We'll consider it. I'm kind of just holding off buying album cards though. Because I know I'm about to have, like, once those group orders arrive from what I joined for the last era. Some of them still aren't here. It's because I'm waiting. I have everything held at my group order managers. Because there's still, like, one more go that needs to arrive and i would just save on shipping that way thank you so much to my group order manager saving my ass for real with this one but yeah i yeah also i overpaid for their fan club cards it's very sad i like very much so overpaid for yojin and vivi's but <laughs> whatever i'll take that out <laughs> nothing else is really jumping out at me i don't need a ton of cards for this era, I need one VV Ever Music card and like a handful of non regular album cards. So that's not like the end of the world. It's not too many. And these cards have been relatively easy to find, but I have really been focusing on the Ever Music cards above everything else because I just imagine those versions like in down the line, I see people buying photo books way more than I see people buying ever music albums like months or years after the album is already out so that's kind of my thinking there I do need all three of those cards though that's kind of a kind of a deal I think I'm just gonna look up Luna Vivi and see if I think and see anything <laughs> I've kind of become like deeply obsessed with unit photo cards maybe you can tell by some of my recent videos or video like recent things I've talked about I really love unit cards and Luna era stuff definitely has more than none like like that's so cute so I kind of want some of the Luna era like trading card cards I don't want to go too crazy back collecting stuff for them I would really rather just focus on what they do in the future but you know I wanted these for so long and now they're just here. That's crazy, actually. That's crazy. I really wanted these. <laughs> Definitely don't need them, though. <gasps> now this... Like, those are my girls. Eee! I wish it had Vivi's card, too. That would be perfect, but that's okay. So cute. Or is this, like, a postcard? I think that's, like, a postcard. Is this someone selling Pokemon? That's really funny. <laughs> What else do we want to look for today? <laughs> I haven't looked for on and off yet. Let's look for on and off. <laughs> this is one of his Yuto's Digipack cards. Need to eat that. Oh my gosh. I haven't dropped the news on YouTube. Wait, is that a set? That's a set. I need like most of those. Wait, hold on. Maybe this is worth it. Maybe it's not. Anyways, anyways, I, I haven't dropped the news on YouTube. Um, so I entered my first fan call raffle ever. I usually don't enter them and I honestly do not know if I will enter another one. I'm definitely not entering another until this fan call. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me get there. I entered a fan call raffle with my friend who I've met IRL. We actually live like very close to each other. She was hosting a group order for the on and off comeback beautiful monster stream. Go stream. Go stream. And she was hosting a fan call raffle for Make Star. And I was like, mm, I'll enter. I know you in real life. You know, trust. I can trust you. So I get entered. And I guess what guess what <laughs> i won it like doesn't feel real i like can't say it out loud um because i will start to cry like i'll start crying i'm meeting on and off yuto 
I decided to apply for UTOs because I speak zero Korean. Like, I can't even read Korean. And I think as I, that was like a topic on Twitter not that long ago where people were like, you're a K-pop stamp, you can't read Korean. I can't do a lot of things. Okay, I really can't. And I, I'm i learning one language and that's like max brain capacity for me. So the thought of like adding on to that is a little much. Anyways, I decided to apply for Yuto because I can speak basic Japanese or at least I can understand Japanese. So I'm pretty sure if I asked him a question and he answered it, I could understand what he's saying. <laughs> so I'm, I'm meeting Yuto. My, my meeting you too. <laughs> the situation is going to be uh crazy. It's going to be a little ridiculous because that day that of the call, I will be flying, like I'll be taking an airplane, and I'm like the worst flyer on planet Earth. Like I, I'm the worst flyer. I can't. I have anxiety. So so I'm going to fly somewhere, and then like four hours after I land have a fan call with one of my old biases like it's going to be a crazy day but I that's why I like don't want to apply for another fan call I want to wait and like make sure that this one goes well or that like I enjoy it because I really so cute oh my god I am really anxious about the concept of a fan call I'm one of those people like I really it's not that I, like, don't want to talk to my faves. It's just that I am nervous. I'm really nervous about meeting them. And I know it's, like, going to be fine. Is that a Minkyun pull up? I'm assuming because the cat, right? Ah! Cute. Um, yeah, so I want to make sure this is going to go well before I ever apply for another one. This may be the, like, first and only fan call I ever do. And it being an on and off one is just so simply perfect but yeah, that, that's, that's news. I'm assuming not very many people are going to watch this video, so you're kind of exclusive in knowing that information. Um, keep that to your chest, you know, let's keep this low key, let's keep this chill. If I think about it too much, like I'm talking about it a lot right now, and I can feel myself sweating. Be I'm talking to you too. Like, I'm, I I'm talking to you too. Like, I want this set so bad. I kind of just want Yuto's card because... Pikachu and look at his mirror. I've never had a group where I've so severely biased like every single member. I think I though, I think I'm a Kyunyu bias. I think my top two are Minkyun and Yuto, but like tied because obviously they're perfect. So, okay, not too much on the on and off front today. I do like this set, though, and that's a really good price. So maybe, maybe I'll get that. Is there anything else I want to look at today? Um, not really. Yeah, not really. Okay, well, what should we end on? Let's end on this one. Susus are back. We all smiled. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I will maybe film more of these. These are very, like, chill videos for me to film if my internet doesn't die like it did in this one, uh, which was a little unfortunate. <laughs> but that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! I'm waving. <laughs> Thank you.